Hi everyone, welcome to Aquaponic Gardens here in Switzerland. So the system's up and running. Um, been working a lot of hours in the last few weeks to get this project up and going. Sorry about the shakiness, as you can see. At the moment I've just got one of the pumps running. Just uh, while I'm doing a bit of work on the tanks. Everything works fine. There's no fish in the big system yet. I think it's got a bit of a wall. As you can see, water in all the tanks. Biology is getting there. Um, filters, the biofilters nearly ready. Taking another week or so. I've been um, pouring all the dirt out of the quarantine filter into this tank. So you can't see that. There's ten. A lot of dirt in there. Um, as well as the good bacteria. This has speed up my cycling by about a month. Um, up to maybe one to one and a half month. Takes about two to three months to really cycle a system. Um, I'm going to do it in about six weeks. Collection box here. It's full uh, water comes um, from every tank. The dirty water feeds into here, into the drum filter. As you can see, this thing is pretty big. It's about 1.5 meters long, 1.2 meters wide. Capacity about 120,000 liters an hour. Water flows through there into here. The biofilter. Just waiting on some air stones to get this thing up and going. We need some big air stones for this. There's no little games anymore. And here's our heating system. Very happy with it. We heated 120,000 liters up to 25, from 10 degrees to 25 degrees in under 24 hours. So about 24 hours, you say 24 hours. This works from the sawmill down the road. They have excess heat, so they heat the whole community with this. Um, the system is pretty complicated. I won't get into too much detail today, but um, cold water comes down these pipes through the spirals at the bottom there, and it's back cold. Well, not cold, but um, with the heat that we lost, lose, which is very little. Then the water is first pumped into these two LHOs, low head oxygenators. They are pumping pure oxygen through the oxygen um, generators and it comes up to about 160% saturation. And then it flows back to all the tanks. Take you over to the quarantine. So let's step down. Fish are here, holding about 40,000 at the moment. They'll be going into the big system the next few weeks. They'll be sorted out. And, um, anyone try to guess what sort of fish they are? That'd be nice, but I won't say what they are right at the moment. As you can see, they're extremely hungry. But I feed them enough food. Been about five, five to seven times a day, small amounts. Anyone guess what sort of fish they are? Yep, okay. So every tank is full. Just got um, another. 15,000 arrived last night from the, at the airport. I was busy all night. Um, getting them ready, climatizing the fish to the new system, to the new water. Down here is the, this where our fresh water will come into the system. It does come into the system. Basically, we've got a heating. This is a vermitile share. Um, um, Heat exchanger. Again, the hot water comes down at 50 degrees, 40 degrees at the moment, into this box. So the plat uh, two plates. Cold water comes in from the tap, goes in here, 
comes back out, so coming in at about um, 10 degrees only, 8 degrees, and it goes out at 25 degrees, 25 to 28 degrees. That goes through there, got all the uh, control units to make sure we don't overheat the fish, and it runs into this first tank. Comes out of here, through a solid lifting overflow, into there, another solid lifting overflow, I'll show you quickly, solid lifting overflow. This is where into the next tank, through there, and into the biofilter. Um, used about 6,000 litres a day. At the moment, we're not using any because the water's still clean. So the drum, the drum filter only works once or twice a day. Um, this is where we'll be keeping the fish we're about to kill. We come in here, clean out there. The stomach's a little bit, and here, where there's nothing at the moment, this is where the slaughtering house will be. Um, it's a modular system. Plants will be all down this window here, all the way to the end, four, four to five level tire. We utilize in the natural sunlight, as you can see we get a lot of morning sunlight here. Um, skylights also give us a lot of like, natural light in the room. Very happy with it. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the system. Um, few uh, little things I need to adjust, but that's not a problem. These are the Oxymax. They produce about two liters of uh, two liters per minute of pure, 95% pure oxygen. If you up the flow to about nine liters per minute, then it comes down to about 80% oxygen. But that's not what you want. You want to run it as low as possible. Get, that's why we put, um, we're running four machines here, two for each LHO. That way we're producing two liters per minute, but in both of the machines, it's eight li uh, four liters per minute, eight liters per minute in the total system of 95% pure oxygen. Okay guys, um, thanks for watching. I'll leave this video a little bit short. I'll update you as we're going. Can't wait to get the fish in here. Um, it's gonna be beautiful. Can't wait for eight months to go by. As you can see, this is uh, where I'm working on the tank. I just put a plate over the top of this outlet. That's where the solid lifting over flow will come out and into the center. Solid lifting over flows are pretty ba like basic, but um, I, I really enjoy them. A lot less risk to me, and these tanks are very cheap. I only paid about $800 each for them, the little, uh, 600 for the little ones. I think 900 for the big one over there, 30,000 litres. Okay guys, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for the next video. Okay guys, have a nice day. Bye.